champagne, yeah? Right. Cheers. 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 We were just there a couple months ago, huh? Yeah. You guys yeah. remember the champagne awesome. chalk? Yep. Yes. Yeah, the Literally soil. the chalky soil. Yes. Let's see, what else do you guys remember? Do you remember when we took the tour of La Miable? Yeah. Yes. And, and we yes. learned about how they make champagne? Mm hmm Yes. Who remembers, how do we get the bubbles in the bottle? Secondary fermentation. Yeah! You get Dear. the gold star! <laughs> well, you can have the gold hat. <laughs> so, they add the yeast, they ferment first, like regular wine, add yeast, add sugar, to feed the yeast, cap it, then the bubbles are trapped, they get nowhere to go, right? right? In the bottle. Then they do the process of, the yeast die, they stop working, and after they die, they break down, it's called autolysis, and they release enzymes, and it's these enzymes that give the flavor of what we're tasting, so let's taste. Mm. You the should pick up some biscuit, yeasty, yeasty. exact baked bread, Butterscotch, toast. Very yeasty. Beer, maybe Toasty. stale beer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This good. is nice. Very nice. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you get all those yummy autolytic flavors, and then the problem is when the dead yeast cells are stuck to the side of the bottle, what are you going to do? How do you get rid of them? You get a riddle. A riddle. No joke. Shake up the bottle over time, or you can use the giant gyro pellet like we saw at La Miel, oh, yeah. a okay, machine that right. actually moves the dead yeast cells off from the side of the bottle. So it collects in the tip, and they chill down the bottle, and then they remove the cap, and out comes the dead yeast cells. So this is a non-vintage brew, which means it's been aged on those dead yeast cells for 15 months. A vintage, if it had a year on it, would be three years. Oh, wow. So you're okay. going to pick up even more auto like okay. flavors. So yeah, what do you guys think? I like I it. it. There's like lots it. of bubbles on this one. Good acid. Very small bubbles. I Little bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Tiny well, bubbles. you talk about, when you're talking about assessing quality, you talk about how does it feel? Mm. What is the mousse mm. like? Mm. Does it feel creamy? Does it feel harsh and abrasive? It should feel really no, nice. it feels creamy. Yeah. It's made out of one, one of three grapes. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. Blend of all three. If it's Blanc de Blanc, it's just Chardonnay. Blanc de Noir, it's Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. So, you know, another fun fact about this wine, I ran into the distributor, and he was telling me uh, the story about this wine, and actually we have a little moment here we're going to share with everyone so that they can meet the guy too. Cool! Oh, great. Yes. Awesome. His name's Ryan Norton, Epic, wine, Epic Wines, and um, it was at the Wine Salon Brasserie. Champagne Colette, although they've been around since 1921. Wow. They're brand new to the country. They've been in just over two months. Hmm. So a new exciting product for the holidays. Uh, they've been around since 1921. They're the oldest family-owned champagne house huh. in the little town of Ai in Champagne. Okay. Yeah. So uh, their history goes back to 21 um, when Champagne was actually designated as an AOC or a region in France. They were the first one designated and Mr. Colette was responsible for that. Hmm. So they have the ties that go back a long, long time. Wait, he was responsible for yeah. making champagne an AOC? Yeah, he was one of the people that went to the government to petition to create an AOC. Because a lot of people were making wines outside of champagne but calling them champagne. This whole period was called the Champagne Wars. Hmm. So he was one responsible for making it a designated area. Which makes it so special because there's nowhere else on earth that is as good as champagne. Yeah. For just happen to be there? Yeah. Sometimes you randomly, if you go to wine stores, you can randomly drop in on appointments where the distributors are pouring wines for the people who are buying from the store. Cool. So it's a good, good way to nice. get free samples. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's get ready for the party later. Okay, right. awesome. Dig it. Cheers. Let's drink. I mean, cheers. <laughs>